Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the XC0438 Smart Wi-Fi Multi-Channel Weather Station. To get started you'll need two AA batteries for the wireless temperature and humidity sensor, the included coin cell backup battery for the indoor console and the included mains power adapter, the external temperature and humidity sensor and the indoor console. Before we start, we'll provide a quick overview of the sensor in the console. The sensor features an LED indicator on the front. On the back, there's a keyhole hook for mounting the unit to a wall. Below is the battery compartment. Within the battery compartment, there is the channel selector switch and reset button. Install the two AA batteries into the compartment and replace the cover. The LED will illuminate. The indoor console features a large LCD on the front and three buttons. The buttons are channel and plus, mode and alarm, and maximum, minimum and minus. On the top there's an alarm snooze button. And on the back there's the screen contrast calibration key, the manual time set key, the backlight high or low control switch, the temperature parameter display key, refresh, reset and Wi-Fi sensor buttons a keyhole hook for mounting the unit on a wall, and two legs so the console can freestand on a desk. Lastly, there's a backup battery compartment and the mains power port. Install the included button cell battery into the battery compartment and close. Then plug the console into mains power using the included power adapter. The console is divided into three color-coded sections. The first line is the date, time and day or Wi-Fi connectivity information. AP flashing on the screen indicates the unit is in access point mode and is ready to be connected to Wi-Fi. The middle section is the wireless sensor display. The blinking indicates sensor connection and synchronization is in process. The third line displays the console's collected information. This includes a comfort indicator, the current temperature and temperature trend, and the humidity and humidity trend. After a couple of minutes, the remote temperature and humidity sensor automatically connects. In the center section, we can now see the current channel and sensor signal, the current temperature and temperature trend, and the current humidity and humidity trend. To get started, download the Smart Life application. You can do this by scanning the QR code found in the user guide or by following the download links in the video description. When the console is powered up for the first time, the console will automatically enter and stay in AP mode. This is indicated again by AP flashing rapidly on the top right of the LCD. If the device is not in AP mode, press and hold the sensor Wi-Fi key for 6 seconds to enter into AP mode manually. Follow the prompts and accept any permissions and get started with the app. If you're a first time user of the app, create an account by entering and verifying your email. Then create a password. To add a new device, select the small plus symbol in the top right corner of the app. On the Add Manually screen, choose Sensors in the left menu bar, then select Temperature and Humidity Sensor, Wi-Fi. On the next page, select the box Wi-Fi Name. This will take you to your device's internet settings. Select the Wi-Fi network you wish to connect your weather station to, then return to the app. Enter the Wi-Fi network's password, then press Next. Ensure the device is still in AP mode, if not, press the reset button on the back. <whistles> the 
The device will ask you to confirm if the indicator light is flashing rapidly or slowly. This is referring to that AP indicator again in the top right corner. Wait as the device connects. Once connected, you will see the station on the app's main screen. Press the newly connected station to view your weather data. This is a complete overview of your weather station data. You will be able to access and view this information even when your mobile is not connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The top blue box displays the information collected by the indoor console. In the second box will be your wireless sensor. The indoor console information includes the temperature along with the maximum and minimum recorded data and the humidity along with its maximum and minimum recorded data. Pressing on the indoor data will display the indoor temperature and humidity information history in a graph. The wireless sensor data below includes the current temperature and humidity along with the maximum and minimum recorded levels. Again, pressing on the channel brings up the history in a graph. You can move between the indoor and channel history graphs by using this button. Pressing the small pencil icon on the top right takes you to the device settings, management and advanced features. Here you can adjust the name of your station, view device information, view your created tap to run and automations, set up Alexa and Google Assistant, turn on or off offline device notifications, share device information, create a group, view the FAQ, add the device to your home screen, check the device network, check for device updates, and remove the device from the app. On the device screen, there are three more management buttons. These are alert history, go here to view any previous alerts, alert settings, here you can switch on and off temperature and humidity alerts, as well as adjust the thresholds. To adjust temperature alerts, press temperature. Choose the device you wish to set this alert up on between the indoor console or the wireless sensor. Press the small switch to turn the alert on, then adjust the high and low values by using the selection boxes below. Repeat the same if you wish to set up a temperature alert for your wireless sensor. Selecting alerts for humidity is much the same. Press humidity, then choose between the console or wireless unit. Use the switch to turn the humidity alert on or off, then set your desired parameters. The final button along the bottom is Celsius Fahrenheit. Pressing this changes the temperature unit display on the console and on the mobile app. It takes a minute or two to update. The console is designed to obtain the correct time by synchronizing with your internet. If you wish to use this unit offline, you can manually set the time and date. To do this, press the sensor Wi-Fi button for six seconds Then press and hold the time set key for 2 seconds to enter into manual clock setting. To change the value of any of the options, press the plus or minus keys on the front of the device. Press time set to move on to the next selection. The options are in the following order. The options are 12 24 hour time selection, hour, minute, the year, month day or day month date display, month, day, time synchronization on or off, and the language for weekday display. Press time set a final time to return to the main screen. The next adjustment and setup option on the main screen is adjusting the alarm time. 
Press the mode alarm key for two seconds until the alarm hour digit starts to flash on the screen. Press the plus or minus keys to adjust the alarm hour value. Press mode alarm to confirm your selection, then the minute will begin to blink. Use the plus or minus keys to adjust the alarm minute. Press mode alarm again to save and exit. When the device is in alarm mode, the small bell icon will appear on the top of the screen. In normal mode, press the mode alarm key to show the alarm for 5 seconds. When the alarm time displays, press the mode alarm key again to activate the alarm function. When the alarm is on and the clock reaches the alarm time, the alarm will start. The alarm can be stopped by either pressing the alarm snooze button, the alarm will then sound again after 5 minutes, pressing and holding the alarm snooze button for 2 seconds will stop the alarm and it will activate again the next day, or pressing mode alarm to stop the alarm and the alarm will then activate again on the next day. If you have multiple wireless sensors connected, press the channel key to move through each channel. To change the display between Celsius or Fahrenheit, press the Celsius Fahrenheit button on the back of the display. The console also records minimum and maximum readings for both daily and since the last reset. To view minimum and maximum information, press the maximum key to view the daily maximum records. Press it a second time to view the daily minimum records. Press the maximum key a third time to view the accumulative maximum records and press the max min key a fourth time to view the accumulative minimum records. To check records for individual channels, press the channel key. To reset the minimum and maximum records, press and hold the max min key when viewing the current records. The backlight of the unit can be adjusted by pressing the high-low sliding switch to select the brightness. High is brighter, low is dimmer. Further, you can also adjust the display contrast by pressing the calibration key. Each press changes the contrast in small increments. Choose the best contrast for your method of mounting, either desktop or wall. And that's how to connect the XC0438 Smart Wi-Fi Multi-Channel Weather Station to Wi-Fi and manually adjust the console settings. For more information on this smart weather station, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.